chapter 3, Mishnah 3, generally a person must use his Meister Shani money to buy food or drink in Jerusalem. The Mishnah discusses a way for a person to transfer the money onto produce owned by another person without buying it. Someone has Meister Shani coins in Jerusalem where he must spend them on food or drink, but he needs the coins to buy other things, which may not be bought with Meister Shani funds. His friend has produce of Hulin in Jerusalem and allows him to transfer the Meister Shani coins onto that produce. He, the owner of the Meister Shani coins, may say to his friend, these coins should have their sanctity transferred onto your produce. The coins then become Cholin, and the produce takes on the Meister Shani sanctity. The result is that this one, the owner of the produce, must eat his produce in a state of Tahara, since it is now Meister Shani. And that one, the owner of the coins, may use his coins for his other needs, since the coins no longer have sanctity. The Mishnah discusses whether a person may make such a transfer to produce owned by Anama Arts, an unlearned person who is not careful with the loss of Maestros and the loss of Tuma. However, a person may not say to this, i.e. a declaration, however, a person may not say this, i.e. a declaration transferring Maestros Shani sanctity to produce, to an Ama Arts, because an Ama Arts might eat the Maestros Shani while he is Tame. The Mishnah gives an exception to the above law. It involves Demai which is produce that must be tithed by rabbinic law out of concern that it was not tithed properly. An exception is if the coins have the sanctity of Meister Shani taken from Demai by Torah law. Meister Shani does not need to be separated from Demai. Its Meister Shani requirement is only a rabbinic stringency, and so certain leniencies are allowed with it. One of these leniencies is that coins with the sanctity of such Meister Shani may be transferred onto produce owned by an Amha Aretz.